It comes from a book called Never Eat Alone by Keith Marazzi. He says if 80% of success is as Woody Allen once said, just showing up, then 80% of building and maintaining relationships is just staying in touch. I call it pinging. It's a quick, casual greeting that it can be done in any number of creative ways. So uh, that 33 touch program is just pinging people. He's got a 33 ping program, if you want to call it that. Okay? We talked about Joe Girard today. Now, the reason I bring him up again is because he is a great example of a pinger. And I consider him to be the king of ping. Joe Girard was the king of ping because that guy pinged people like crazy. Okay? And because of it, the Guinness Book of World Records voted. Joe Girard, as the greatest salesman in the world for 12 years in a row, the guy sold six to seven cars a day. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine an average car salesman, if they sell like two <coughs> cars a month, that one person is doing pretty good. You, ever, you guys ever watch that show, The King of Cars, when he's on? It's now off. You ever watch that show, The King of Cars? I, it was one of my favorite shows because it showed how uh, salesmanship in action. It was really, really cool. So, um, the, what he, his, his secret to his success was that he sent the greeting card to people every single month. The guy sent out 14,000 greeting cards. He started to do it by himself, then he hired two assistants to help him, and eventually he outsourced it to a company. Now, do you think that he would have made that type of investment if it didn't work? Do you think he would be spending that amount of money if he didn't know for a fact that that strategy was working? Okay, Tony Robbins says success leaves clues. If success leaves, what he means by that is if you want to be successful, just find somebody else that's, that's successful and do what they do. So that's what Joe Girard does, and that's kind of what I do. I love the same cards. Now let me tell you what doesn't work. If you send cards that are boring and stale, like the one that I got from Southwest Airlines, and I love Southwest Airlines, I fly them all the time. But for my birthday, you know, I'm grateful they did send me a car on my birthday, but it was, it was stale. I mean, it was so corporate that it almost worked against them, you know? And uh, what I'm telling you is when you want to send cards, you need to send things that are going to surprise, delight, uh, and excite people. And let me show you examples of the type of cards that I send out. Okay, here's a card when I'm on a, I was on a vacation in the Dominican Republic. And uh, I was walking on the bottom of the ocean with my wife. And of course they snapped that photo and charged you 50 bucks for it. And of course we bought it and we went to the hotel. And we created a card out of that. And I like to make it really funny. You know, I'm saying she's hot. And she's going, he's not. Wish you were here. And I had a little message. And we sent that out. And our uh, voicemail was full by the time we got back. They loved that. They loved it that we were thinking about them on vacation.